Using a menstrual cup for the first time should not really be that troublesome or scary. But of course, it might take a while for you to master the art of inserting, removing, or even troubleshooting your cup. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jen and thanks for being here. In today's vlog, I'd like to share with you some tips and tricks that I've learned along my menstrual cup journey. Some of the common challenges that first-time cup users have experienced, which you might also experience if you're considering to switch from pads to menstrual cups, are the difficulty of inserting the cup for the first time, troubleshooting it when they're feeling any pain or they're leaking while wearing the cup, and the removal process. The decision to switch from pads to menstrual cups may take a lot of consideration and courage, but once you've done it, there's no turning back. But then your period came and you're about to use your cup for the very first time. And then eventually, bigla ka nakaramdam ng takot at nagdalawang isip ka kung itutuloy mo pa ba siya o hindi na. Well, you could be forgiven if you felt that because most women have experienced the same and I myself included. But don't be discouraged if you were unsuccessful on your first attempt. Lahat naman tayo ay may learning curve. It usually takes two to three cycles for you to master the art of inserting, troubleshooting, and removing your cup so kaya ang kaya mo yun. And so today, let me help you out with some of the things that I know and I hope that you'll find this video helpful and interesting. If you're new here or you haven't subscribed yet, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to update you with the next videos I'm going to be uploading on my channel and I hope that you'll learn something from my content. In this demonstration, I'll be using this uterus model and an unbranded or generic menstrual cup which I bought from Shopee for more or less 50 pesos. If you're thinking of buying a generic cup like this for trial purposes, I really wouldn't recommend it and I hope that you would reconsider for two reasons. First of all, these cups are not medical grade silicone. How did I say so? Because if medical grade silicone, siya, they wouldn't sell it that cheap. Just so you know, it costs a lot of money for menstrual cup manufacturers for their products to be registered in FDA para na guarantee na safe yung mga material na ginamit sa produkto nila. So these cups, if they're selling it this cheap, well, you might want to think twice. So just imagine inserting a foreign object inside your body which you're not even sure kung safe. So, it's your call. Pangalawa, as you can see, the material of this cup is not really that good. Sobrang nipis ng silicone material niya and the feel of it as in super soft ng cup. Over a period of time, since we are required to sterilize our menstrual cups each and every use, numinipis yung material nito. So just imagine kung ilang cycle nyo lang pwedeng magamit yung generic na cup. So just a disclaimer, I am not recommending or promoting a generic or unbranded menstrual cup. Again, I only will be using this for demonstration purposes. Now, just a refresher. We have three holes down there. The first one is our bladder where our pee comes out. And then the one in the middle is where our cervix sits. This is our vagina. And then the third hole is our rectum where we poop. So I'll be using this model to demonstrate kung paano natin insert ang ating menstrual cup. Let's start with the different cup folds first.
Now, let me demonstrate how a menstrual cup should be inserted. First of all, make sure that your menstrual cup is washed and rinsed thoroughly at walang may iwang residue from your soap or your cleanser. Make sure that your cleanser na gagamitin mo sa menstrual cup mo ay very mild or unscented as much as possible because strong chemicals would affect your pH balance and it may be harmful for you. Make sure then na sterilize mo na yung cup and once it's go down, then you're good to go. I would be using the punch down fold for this demonstration because it's one of the easiest fold that you can do and it creates a smaller diameter for insertion. Now, in inserting your cup, it would be best that the fold should be facing downward. And instead of inserting it upward sa vagina mo, make sure that it should be inserted na medyo tilted siya or straight downward. Now, as you insert the cup, you can also use a water-based lube to help you para mas madali yung insertion. Or you can just wet with water yan, para mas madali siya at slippery siya upon insertion. For the cup to totally pop open inside, you may need to push this. Or you may either pinch the cup there so that it will pop open completely inside you. That way, your menstrual cup would be able to catch all your menstrual blood. Now, some things to take note of. There are cups na either mali yung placement o kaya naman masyadong firm para sa'yo. Which causes difficulty in urinating or even na feeling na parang they feel like pooping. Kasi the cup may either be pressing against your bladder or your rectum. Um, again, it could either be a positioning or placing issue. At kapag placing issue siya, what you can do is to push the cup further inside para hindi siya nagpa-press against your bladder or your rectum. That means kasi sensitive yung area mo na yon. Another factor naman is kung yung cup mo ay masyadong firm or masyadong malaki yung diameter para sa'yo. That's why it is very important at lagi ko sinasabi to sa mga plugs ko, make sure that you measure your cervix height first and consider the things that you'd be needing before buying a menstrual cup. Now, if you will be needing to reposition your cup, you have two options. You could either remove the cup and then reinsert it back in. Or, kung gusto mo naman, uh, mas madali, pwede mo siyang i-push na lang from here. But you may be needing to pinch the base of the cup or break the seal first para mas madali mo siyang ma-push further inside. But you need to be very careful then kapag pinupush mo inside yung cup. Kasi there's a possibility na baka lumagpas ka dun sa cervix mo. At kapag yung cup mo nagpass against your cervix, ang tendency niyan is mag-flow yung blood dito sa labas ng cup. So the result will be leakage. Maglilik ka talaga. What you can do, you can insert your finger and try to feel your cervix. Ngayon, kung hindi mo kayang i-insert or hindi mo siya ma-reach, uh, you can just reposition, try to pull the cup until yun, nasa tamang position na siya. Now, to make sure naman na nag-unfold siya talaga sa loob or nag-pop open yung cup mo, kasi yung pag-pop open, hindi naman siya talaga naririnig. Nafe-feel siya. No? So, para makasiguro ka at uh, maiwasan yung pag-leak ng blood, what you can do is to try to feel the base of the cup. You can either pinch it and then rotate gently. O kaya naman, pwede mong insert yung finger mo and then feel mo yung paligid ng cup kung talagang na-open siya ng maayos or, or nag-create na siya ng seal inside you. If the stem is poking out or nakalabas siya, you could either push the cup further or kung talagang mahaba siya at uncomfortable para sa'yo, your option is to trim the stem or to cut it completely hanggang dun sa base ng cup. But I suggest, uh, try to give your cup 2 to 3 cycles before mo siya i-cut completely or at least i-trim mo lang siya ng unti-unti para matansya mo kung 
ano lang yung kailangan mong ikat. Kasi kapag binigla mo siya ng pagkat, tapos hindi ka pa naman talaga uh, sanay or hindi mo pa naman master yung insertion and removal, may tendency kasi na hindi mo na ma-reach yung cup or mahirapan ka kasi baka tumaas pa siya ng sobra after mo siya insert or kapag nag-create na ng suction yung vagina mo at dumikit na yung cup sa cervix mo. Yun, baka mahirapan ka kung i-remove mo totally yung stem. May mga cases din kasi na yung cup nagdi-dip siya in your cervix. So, parang ito yung cup, ito yung cervix mo, nagdi-dip siya na ganyan. Kaya mas tumataas pa yung cup. Kaya napaka-importante ng stem. Now, in removing your cup, you don't just pull it using the stem. No, without breaking the seal. Kasi medyo painful yun. What you need to do is first to locate your cup through the stem, touch mo na yung base ng cup mo. By pinching the base of the cup, nakakatulong yan para ma-break mo yung seal ng menstrual cup mo inside. By breaking the seal, mas madali na ma-remove siya. So, kapag na-pinch mo na yung base ng cup, you just need to wiggle or toggle down the cup. Gently. Yan. At kung kaya mong i-insert yung finger mo inside, and better na ma-break mo yung seal ng cup hanggang dun sa rim. That way, it'll be easier to pull it out. Now, kapag malapit na siya dito sa vaginal exit or vaginal entry, whatever you might wanna call it, and gently tilt your cup para hindi siya mag-spill. And and then, you can just dump the blood sa bowl or sa sink, kung saan nyo gusto. And then, rinse it with water. Then, you can reinsert it back in. So, take note, during your period or all throughout your cycle, you don't need to go through the sterilization over and over again each time you dump. So, what you can do, you can just rinse it with water. And then, pwede mo na i-reinsert ulit. Your sterilization, it only has to be done before and after your period. And all the other menstrual cup folds that I showed earlier, you may try all those. And try to see what will work best for you. And that's all that I can share for today's vlog. I hope meron kayo natutunan at nakatulong ito sa inyo. If you have any questions, clarifications, or any suggestions, please comment down below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button on your screen and turn on the notification bell to keep you updated. And you might also want to consider sharing this video to your family or friends. That way, we can both influence them to consider reusable period products because it is good for you, it's good for the environment, and good for your pocket. And it's never too late to make the switch. Thanks for watching. Bye.